Good morning all, it's post bag and this one is electronic. Let's chop it open and see what we've got. Hmm. So this is a big bag full of electronics kits. Awesome. Uh, including this microphone, which I believe is an FM microphone, uh, so that you put a battery in here and then you speak into it and it comes out of your FM radio. Now there's a kit here with a quite large speaker in it. I can't quite remember what that is, but it's obviously going to make a noise, or unless it's using it as a microphone. Uh, here's one with LEDs, three transistors and three capacitors. Pretty sure that's a ring oscillator which lights up LEDs in a circle. That's quite fun. Uh, this, I think, is the 16 sound effects uh, unit. Yes, there's the little um, blob chip uh, sound effects generated there. And I think the rest of the circuitry is for selecting sounds and switching them. Uh, this one has a little microphone in it, and I think that is a clap switch. And then this one is... Oh, I don't know. It's got an arc of LEDs. It might be some sort of Knight Rider thing where the LEDs bounce backwards and forwards, but yeah, they all look like a lot of fun. Now, these kits have been uh, very kindly supplied by icstation.com. So thanks very much, icstation.com. And very kindly, of course, means that they supplied them free of charge. So here we are on icstation.com. And the first kit is this one, number 1750. It's a 16 music box, 16 sound box, electronic production DIY kit. So 16 sounds uh, selected by these four switches. So 16 different positions of those switches. So then there is item 5002. This is circular lamp suite, 12 pieces LED blue. Uh, you can see that four LEDs are on at any one time. They're connected in parallel, I assume. And the three-stage ring oscillator means that you have uh, first these four, then the next four, then the next four. So this is just going to appear to rotate around and around. And this is item 5003, uh, IC Station DIY Kit Clap Switch uh, Sound Suite, or something like that. So this is, this is quite interesting. It's got a, a, a microphone and a preamp transistor. And then there's two transistors which operate as a flip-flop, I think. So you clap it once to switch it on and clap again to switch it off. It's a, a toggle function. Quite interesting. Uh, prices, yes, I've forgotten prices. $2.39. And uh, item number 10147 is FM Frequency Modulation Wireless Microphone Suite. Uh, $2.87. This runs off a single AA cell, has a very small component count, lots of interesting low value resistors and capacitors in this one. Right, this one is item number 10379. This is a forward backwards speed adjustable flowing water lamp suite. So I think what happens is you've got an up down counter here. These are TTL, I believe, which is unusual. Normally these chips are CMOS on these sorts of kits, not this one. And then the LED dot bounces backwards and forwards uh, around this arc of LEDs. Uh, slightly more expensive, this one, $6.39. And uh, this one is a Cicada. This is number 10880. A Cicada sound analog circuit suite multivibrator. It makes the sound of the Cicada insect, which I believe is that insect you get in hot countries. Now that will be nice to hear. Um, those very noisy insects that live in trees. And uh, this is the one with the big speaker. So that'll be fun to build. It'll make me think I'm in sunny Spain or something like that. Uh, this one, $2.12. That's pretty good value. So there we are. Uh, six different kits from icstation.com. And I'll put links to all these kits uh, down in the description below. Right, what's this one? It's uh, clearly in a box of some sort. Oh yes, this is the USB soldering iron. Right, in here we have the soldering iron. Does that cap come off? It unscrews, but does it come off? Is it meant to come off? No, it's meant to unscrew. 
Uh, yeah, so that's interesting. What's that? Is that a button? Is that a touch switch? There's a button of some sort there. And uh, on the end, there's a 3.5 mil jack. Why it's stereo, I have no idea. So USB to that 3.5 mil jack, that plugs in there. Oh, I quite fancy firing this up actually. What's this string? Oh, that's solder. <laughs> they give you a little bit of solder. That's interesting. I wonder if that's got lead in it. We'll soon find out. And oh, that's quite heavyweight. Quite a heavyweight uh, iron stand. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm going to power it up. This cap, this screw on cap, looks like it's made out of fairly heat resistant plastic. So I wonder if you can screw that on while the unit's still hot. Yeah, that looks interesting. Right, let's plug it in. Right, let's put that there on the uh, support. Switch on my power bank. Ah, oh, no, I think this is still set for seven and a half volts. Let's just check. Yeah, so we need to go down, not up. We want dup. Dup means down. Down to five volts, and then that iron should come on. 5.5 or 5.0. Now, how do you make this come on? Do you touch that button? Oh, you do. Oh, how weird. It's like a one shot. I touched it, but now it won't go off. I better read the manual. Aha, slightly touching the metal point of the body, then the LED light will be lightened up and the job can be started. Leaving it unused for 25 seconds, the LED will be turned off. Oh, that's really cool. Has it turned off? Yeah, it has turned off. I wonder how quickly it warms up. I'm going to try it. Right, it seems you do have to pull this plastic cap off, not unscrew it, because the screwy bit is what holds the... Oh, I switched this on. It's what holds the um, tip in. No, that's not hot yet. Right, let's switch it on now. Oh, no, I've disconnected it from the power bank. Let's reconnect it and switch it on. And see how long it takes for the tip to heat up. Well, it's not instant. Oh, it's getting hot. Yeah, smoke coming up. Oh, and that's warm. So that was only about hmm, 10 seconds. Let's try tinning this bit of wire. Oh, that's fantastic. That's worked really well. I need my sponge now. And uh, now I'm going to clean the tip by just sort of rubbing it in amongst this woolen thing. Waggle it around a bit. Oh yeah, that's worked quite well. Let's get a bit closer in on that. Yeah, so that's my nice clean tip. The only problem with this is it's very easy to press this button without realising it. And then you do make the tip of the iron very hot. But that warms up really quickly. That's really convenient. I'm not sure I like this switch particularly. But the 25 second turn off, that could be quite handy. I think I might start using this. Yeah, I really like that. This uh, 3.5 millimeter jack plug does get fairly warm. Also, I'm not quite sure how it's going to like being pulled out while the thing's switched on. I mean, does this break before make or is that going to short the USB? It's also not a very convincing fit that. It's fairly loose. Uh, yeah. Now I've waggled this around in the shavings thing and it now won't take solder because it's got some sort of coating on it. It's just dropping down onto the mat. So let's go back to the wet sponge. Will it now take solder? It's not on. Yeah, it does seem to be a little better, but that needs proper tinning, I think. So... I need to get solder really flowed around the whole thing, get it properly tinned. Yeah, that's got coated in some sort of, I don't know, oxide or something, and it's not tinning itself properly now. I'm going to, have to give it a waggle in here and a clean up on the sponge. Now will it take solder? Well, it's taking it on one side now where it's got a coating on it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that uh, properly coated and tinned up, I think. 
Now I'm pretty sure that the solder supplied with this iron is lead free. It looks like lead free. The flux smells like lead free. It has a very different smell to normal leaded solder flux. Um, I quite like the fact that this rotates. I don't know why that's come on because I didn't touch the button. That rotates. So you can't really get the, um, the cable in a tangle. I also quite like the fact that you can just rip it out if uh, anything not quite right happens. Right, now I wanted to just test the current draw of this, so I'm just going to put it uh, through a charge adopter. Right, let's give that a try. Let's touch that button. And it's taking 1.3 amps. Will that change as it warms up? No, that seems fairly constant. Let's touch it again to make it stay on. This has dropped to 4.5 volts, but no, that seems to be drawing 1.3 amps fairly consistently. Okay. Right, so on eBay, this item is mini portable USB 5 volt, 8 watt electric powered soldering iron. I think this might take a bit of getting used to. Um, it, uh, I'm not sure whether the tip is intended for uh, unleaded solder or leaded solder. Probably unleaded these days. So how I'll get on with leaded, I don't know. I have managed to get the tip tinned again. Um, this one is $4.72. I quite like the idea of these, so I might get some more. I'm going to see if I can get one with uh, multiple tips, because this only one, this one only came with one tip. Uh, free shipping, and this came from Full Love 365 Right, what's this one? Electronic load resistor USB current tester discharge battery, $3.99. Who needs to look at this on eBay? Right, let's take it out. Ah, okay. And uh, yeah, this one is indeed a USB load. So you've got uh, a USB plug there, variable load current, courtesy of that little turny knob thing, a fan, which is on a heat sink, which has a transistor on it. Let's get in close. And the transistor is a TIP122, so that's a pretty old school bipolar transistor, I believe, TIP. Uh, what's this thing up there? That says 358, oh, that's probably an LM358. There's a low value resistor there, uh, R025, so what's that, 25 milliohms is that? And a few uh, bits and pieces, the soldering looks absolutely awful on this thing. Uh, what's on the top? Oh, there's a couple of devices there. Hmm, they're actually, uh, well, they look like regulators. Well, I can't find anything on these M5350Bs. Uh, they're in a SOT89 package, I think it is, sort of regulator style package. No, can't find anything on those at all. Right, let's plug this into uh, the charge adopter and see what we get. 1.1 amps. Presumably I can take that up. What's the maximum? One, oh, over two amps. Oh, it's not going to like that. 2.5 amps. The fan hasn't come on. Oh, it's getting very hot. Oh, yeah, it's getting very hot. Let's take that down. Actually, let's leave that at about two amps. The power bank seems to be Quite happy producing two amps. Is the fan going to come on? I'll leave it for a bit. Right, well something has uh, detected a temperature rise and the fan has come on. Yeah, that is quite warm. Yeah, that seems to work nicely and you can adjust the current right up to, well, two and a half amps was the highest I dare go. Uh, but presumably any current up to that all the way down to uh, zero, I would hope. Yeah, that's a cool device, I like that. And uh, on the back of the board here, we've got RT1, so that's presumably a, a thermistor or a, some sort of temperature sensor, and that's connected into the circuitry around the fan connector there. Maybe that's what those two devices on the other side are, those two 5350 devices but yeah that's obviously what's detecting the temperature rise and switching on the fan and so this device is a 15 watt uh, 3.7 volts to 13 volts 
Oh, that's interesting. So it's not just five volts. Industrial electronic load resistor, USB discharge battery tester. Yeah, sort of. Uh, $3.99, free shipping, and that came from 26 Just Easy Buy. And uh, finally, we have this LED light times two. And it's nice and rattly. So what's in here? Oh, yeah, LED lights. USB LED lights times four. I think they were sold in pairs. Uh, actually, it looks like what I've done is I've bought a couple of uh, warm whites and a couple of cool whites. So uh, let's give those a try on the power bank. So here's a cool white. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And let's put it next to a warm white. Oh yeah, very noticeable difference in color. Yeah, they're quite nice. So these are two pieces, mini portable bright three LED night light USB lamp for PC. Uh, just 99 cents for two. I think I bought two sets of these. Free shipping from BBKHK008 underscore nine. So what are these for? Why did I buy these? Well, they're kind of part of my modular USB lighting system. Would you like to see my modular USB lighting system? So over the last few weeks, I've been collecting uh, these things. These are USB lights. They're kind of lights on a bendy stick, which you can form into different shapes. And do you remember the little three port USB hubs? Well, I'm using three port USB hubs and bendy light sticks to make up this sort of thing. And uh, then I bought this four port USB hub. And this one very particularly because it has, although it has this uh, bendy thing, it clicks into place and it's quite rigid. And then the idea was to fit these lights into the various ports of this hub. Um, I think this one goes there. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, then this one, plugs in there, and that one plugs in there. And we have this rather interesting light fixture. So let's get a power bank, uh, attach that onto there. So uh, this is my USB modular light sculpture, which I'm calling Medusa. So let's switch that on. And she looks pretty good, doesn't she? And, uh, you know, you can hold this thing in one hand. And by turning it upside down, you've got 12 illuminating lighting pods to, well, light up anything you want, really. Uh, one of the problems with this is that these three port hubs are all a bit floppy. And one of them, the plug falls out when you pull it out. So you end up with some dangling wires. So it's not quite as rigid as I would have liked but it certainly works. Um, strange things though, here I've got one of these things which is warm white, all of the rest are cool white. I don't know whether you can see the difference between the warm white one and the cool white. And all of them bar one have the USB plug one way around, but this one oddly has it the other way around. So I'm trying to sort of bend that back on itself and keep that pointing in with all the others. But yeah, that's Medusa. Probably not quite production ready yet. And uh, so these are today's post bag items with lighting provided by Medusa.